In this video, we're gonna show you how to replace your fuel pump in your Dodge Ram located inside your gas tank underneath your truck. You wanna go ahead and open up the hood. Locate the PDC or the power distribution center. It's basically a fuse box. Unscrew the center retainer here, pull off the cover. And what you wanna do is locate the fuel pump relay. You wanna make sure that it's the relay and not the fuse for the fuel pump. So locate the fuel pump relay. You're gonna go ahead and locate the relay. It is number 58. You come into here and you're gonna come into the second row here and it is this relay right here. You wanna go ahead and pull that out. I'm gonna go ahead and use a small pick, go down inside and work that relay up and out. Once you have that relay out, just simply set that on top of the battery. Now at this point here, you wanna hop into the truck, get that ignition key going, and you wanna crank the truck. You wanna go ahead and let the truck run for a couple seconds there until it dies out. That's gonna go ahead and depressurize that fuel system. Let's go ahead and use our 3 8 wrench. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this nut and remove the terminal. Just connect our terminal here. And go ahead and set that aside. Now that we have our boot off here, we're gonna use our 10 millimeter socket on our gear wrench. And loosen that. Now that we have the bolt loose, let's go ahead and spin the terminal off. And go ahead and set that aside. Now you want to go ahead and open up the fuel tank door here, unscrew the cap, just hang that on the door. Using our 7-8 socket, let's go ahead and loosen and remove our lug nuts. With the lug nuts off, we can go ahead and remove our wheel. Now once you have that back wheel removed, we're gonna go ahead and access this screw clamp right here, holding our filler tube here, using a seven millimeter socket, loosen that clamp, or you can use a flathead screwdriver here. At this point here, you wanna try and work this hose off of the fill tube and just tuck it aside. To disconnect this line here, we're gonna use our fuel disconnect tool. We're gonna to slip this over and you push it down into that vent tube and then pull the vent tube off of the metal line like so. Now we have both lines disconnected from our filler neck. I'm simply gonna take a towel here and just kind of Stuff that in there for now. This is gonna help prevent uh, tank vapors from leaking out. Now using a deep 15 millimeter socket, we're gonna go ahead and loosen the nut on the front strap. And we're gonna keep that on there just a little bit and let's go ahead and do the same for the back. So go ahead and use your gas tank lift. Okay, lift this up just a little bit. With the tank supported, let's go ahead and remove the nuts the rest of the way on the straps. Let's 
Let's go ahead and try and work our gas tank strap down. We do the same for the forward mounted strap. With the straps removed, we're gonna go ahead and slowly lower the tank to give us access to all the connections on the top. On this line right here, there is a locking connector on the back side here. I'm gonna use these pliers to come around and you need to push in on the little locking tab. I can't get my finger in there, so I'm gonna use these pliers. I'm gonna push that in and wiggle that connector off. Now if the pliers don't work, you could use a small screwdriver. You should simply push in on this, pushing in on this and it should unlock. There it is. Now that we have that off, I want to go ahead and disconnect this electrical connector right here. There's a little, just a little push down clip. Electrical connector off. Go ahead and pull our vent tube down. There's a connector right here that needs to come off as well. I'm trying to rotate this, and there's a tab on the other side. You have to push in and unlock like the other plastic line we had to do this on. Connected. At this point here, we're going to go ahead and lower that tank down a bit further, and then we'll double check for any other connections that might be installed. Grab that front strap, wiggle it up, and remove that. Grab that rear strap, I'm just going to wiggle that up and out, set that aside. So once you get the tank out, you wanna go ahead and clean up the top of it, use your vacuum and clean it up. When we open this up, we don't wanna have debris, sand, leaves, anything falling down inside the tank. So scrub it up and vacuum it up. Next, you're gonna to wanna to use a brass punch and we're going to hit around each one of these notches. This is a locking collar. I wanna go ahead and spin this counterclockwise so that this tab or opening allows for these tabs to pop out. Go ahead and remove your lock ring. I'm gonna go ahead and lift up the pump. Same unit. You wanna have a catch can ready to go. Let's go ahead and remove the O-ring seal. Be careful not to drop any debris back inside the tank. With that seal gone, you wanna go ahead and keep around this ring right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get our O-ring set on. Drop our sunny unit in.
get the lock ring started. Just make sure all of the tabs line up. You also want to make sure that the sending unit itself is clocked in its correct position. So this fuel line right here is facing to the side. The connector is facing forward. And once you have that lock ring locked on, what you want to do is next, go ahead and don't forget to remove this so that your fuel line will pop back on. Now let's go ahead and raise the tank up into the chassis and we'll start to reconnect our connectors. Go ahead and take your hose here, you're gonna line that up. And go ahead and get this pushed on. Just give that a little pull and make sure that it's locked into place. Next, we wanna go ahead and install our electrical connector right here, line that up. And push that on and we'll snap into place. Just give that a wiggle and check that, that's all good. I'm gonna go ahead and install this line right here. Line this up, push it on, you'll feel it and hear it click into place. Let's now go ahead and raise the tank up into position. Make sure that your rubber fuel tank filler neck is going up and over the frame. We're gonna adjust our fuel tank jack accordingly here to level us out a little bit more. Now that we have our tank up in a position, let's go ahead and install our straps. We're gonna install our T-strap up into the notch in the frame. Let's go ahead and do the same for the forward mounted strap. Now on the back side here, we'll get our strap pushed up and let's get that nut started. Just gonna thread it on a few threads to catch that and hold it in place. Let's go ahead and do the same for the front strap. Now, if you're gonna install your front strap and you can't get that tank far enough over to the frame to get that installed, chances are this wire harness is stuck between the tank and the frame. Simply push that up, reach up on the side, get that out of the way. That tank should slide right over Once we get that nut started on that there, go ahead and remove our tank jack and get that out of the way. And then we'll go ahead and snug down those straps. Let's go ahead and tighten down the rear one. Go ahead and take our vent line here. What you want to do is line that up. Simply you want to press that on. And it should lock into place. Go ahead and give that line a little tug. And it's locked in, you can feel it secured. Remove your rag if you install that. Slide the hose onto the fill tube. Secure the hose clamp. Once you're all set there, go ahead and install your wheel. Let's go ahead and line up our wheel. that lined up and let's go ahead and install our lug nuts. Once we have all these on, we're gonna go ahead and snug them down. Let's go ahead and torque down the lug nuts to 135 foot pounds.
Go ahead and install your filler cap. Close that door. I'm gonna go ahead and install your fuel pump relay. Once you have your relay in, go ahead and install the cover. Tighten that up. Once that's all set, you can go ahead and reconnect your battery. Go ahead and start up the vehicle and test out that fuel pump. Go ahead and line these up. Push these down into place. Now our battery terminal bolts were a little corroded. We went ahead and replaced it at this time. If you tighten this here, that bolt can be weak and break even while you're on the road. Tighten down the positive bolt here. Slide that boot on top. Tighten down our bolt here. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.